Hi, you guys. Hi, everybody. Hi, Joe. How are you? Oh, I'm so good, Miss Tracy. So good. Wow, Joe. You could kind of maybe use a haircut or something. Oh, I know. I'm so happy the salon's got to open again. I know. Here in North Dakota, they got to open today. I'm so excited. But, yeah, buddy, maybe we could, uh, maybe we should get you in and get a haircut. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, it's okay. I like being fluffy and all. <laughs> well, that's good. I'm glad you like that. It uh, looks like you could maybe use. I know. I know. You just. Yep, bet there, mister. Where are all our friends at? Well, I don't know, Joe. I think they're just kind of, we're going to give them a minute, and I bet they'll come on. Oh, okay. I want to see them. Hi, friends. Hello. 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 <laughs> You're really excited today, Joe. I know. I know. You want to know why I'm excited? Why are you excited? Because you told me your secret. Oh, I forgot. I did tell you my secret. You want to share with everybody what my secret is? We're going to open the library. We are going to open the library. Who's excited? I'm excited. Here's the deal, everybody. We will open on Monday, and we are here Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5. We are only open to checkout only. Yep, checkout only. No computers. And please don't linger. That's right, Joe. Please kind of be ready and prepared, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. You can do that. And what else should we tell them, Joe? Oh, don't worry. If you don't feel comfortable coming in, no problemo. Miss Tracy, she'll do all the work for you. That's right. I sure will. Well, Joe, I'm going to get to reading. Can you say goodbye to our boys and girls? Bye, boys and girls. Have a super duper great weekend. All right. Bye, Joe. Well, that was sure fun to see, Joe. I have two books today, you guys, that are kind of fun. And the one made me think of how much I miss team, you guys. And it's called Come Home Already. <laughs> now, I know we read another one kind of about bear. I believe, I can't remember what that one was called now off the top of my head. But this one is by Jory John and Benji Davies. And it, it kind of makes me think of Come to the Library Already. <laughs> So it won't be so quiet, right? You're going to like this one. Another glorious morning full of possibilities. I wonder what old bear is up to. Get ready for some more fun times, bear. Knock, knock. And I won't take no for an answer. Wait a minute. It says, Gone fishing, back next week. Bear's gone fishing, he's back next week. Bear's gone fishing, he's back next week. He's gone fishing, without me. But, but, next week? Fishing? What am I going to do with myself until then? Ah, yes, this is a life. Alone with my thoughts. No pesky neighbors knocking on my door at all hours. It's nice to be by myself for once. Ah. Hmm. My house, duck's house, trees, bears me up. The woods, more trees, another tree, my favorite camping spot, the lake. It's okay. It's all right. It's not even a big deal. So Bear left without me, and I'm all alone. I'll be fine. <laughs> yes. Ha, ha, ha. I'm just fine. After all, I can entertain myself. I'll read. A Tale of Two Neighbors by Charles Duckins. No, I'll cook a big meal. Bear's recipes. No, I'll write a letter. Dear Bear. Quack. No, I'll play the drums. No, I'll watch a movie. No, I'll read. Wait, I already said that. Sigh. I really don't feel like doing any of these things. I miss my friend. Come home already, bear. I'm just so bored. I wonder what little bear is doing right this second. I bet he's having so much fun without me. 
Ah, oh, there's got to be an easier way to set up a tent. Ah, oh, never mind. I'll figure it out later. Time for some fishing. Oh, darn. It's starting to rain. I don't like to get my fur wet. I'll have cut, I haven't caught a single fish, and I forgot to bring snacks. I miss my refrigerator. I'm drenched. I'm hungry. I don't know how to start a campfire. I'm just so tired. <sighs> There's really only one thing to do. I have to catch up with Bear. You'll surely need my help. After all, I know how to catch fish with my beak. Also, I'm a great company. Fishing can be really lonely. Plus, it's raining. Gotta find Bear. Gotta find Bear. It's getting dark. Gotta find Bear. The woods are scary at night. What was that noise? It's probably nothing. Think about other things, Bear. Just think about other things. Nothing to worry about here. Nothing to worry about at all. Bear, it's me! Look, from next door! I found you, old buddy, old pal, old chum. Are you hungry? Are you cold? Are you scared? Why were you screaming? Why was I screaming? Duck, duck, is it really you? How did you find me? I wanted you to come home, so I tracked you to the woods. I missed you. Come home already, bear. Duck, I'm actually so relieved to see you. You are? Absolutely. Please stay. Keep me company. We can go back home together in the morning. That sounds wonderful, Bear. Perfect. Sublime. I actually thought you wanted to get away from me. Let me help you get set up. I'm good at building tents and making fires. And we can roast these marshmallows I brought. Camping is much better with a friend, Bear. Yes, I can see that, Duck. This is nice, isn't it, Bear? I was asleep, Duck. Good morning, Bear! Huh? Oh, yes. Good morning, Duck. So before I found you, did you catch any fish at all, Bear? No. Did you enjoy the rain? No. Did you have fun? No. Did you make any friends? No. Did you catch any fish? You already said that. Look at how he's going to catch any fish. Well, I'm very glad you're home, Bear. Next time you want to go camping, give me a ring. I'll come along. I've, I'll always be by your side, Bear. Always and forever. <laughs> the end. Do you think Bear's pretty excited about always and forever being together? I don't know. I have something else really fun. I'm not sure if you guys saw, but our principal, she's super amazing and super cool. She did um, the principal dance challenge. I posted it below. I shared it below. So take a look at that. She's crazy. We're very lucky to have Miss Brown. Um, also, the Read Me a Story contest. Don't forget to submit those to me. I'm so excited to see those. I'm going to do a shout out to Miss Ainsley Lund. I'm here. Oh, I, Miss Ainsley Kruger, sorry. <laughs> I know she's learning to read, so I can't wait. She said she's going to send me a video, so hopefully I can see that soon. I'm going to end today with a really fabulous, silly book, and it's called Prissy and Pop, Big Day Out. And you guys, these are real pigs, real little pigs. Makes you want to have one. And this is by Melissa Nicholas, and the photographs are by Petra Tarovova. And the pictures are so cute. They actually dress the pigs up. Wake up, Pop, says Prissy. Rise and shine. But I'm sleepy, Pop cries. Really, Pop? Come on, says Prissy. And two little piglets begin a new day. Prissy knows just what she's going to wear, but Pop has no idea. Oh, let's do a fashion show, Prissy says. Fabulous, classy, fetching, perfect. You look sensational, Pop. 
Thank you, Prissy, said Pop. These little piggies are always polite. What should we have for breakfast, asked Pop. Hmm, says Prissy, thinking hard. How about everything? Oh, no, cries Pop. What a mess. Time for a bubble bath, says Prissy. And two little piggies get cleaned up. Pop wants to go to the beach, but Prissy wants to do some gardening first. Daisy's irises marigolds. Prissy loves them all. Achoo! Pop sneezes. Gazoon tight, says Prissy. Prissy loves to be polite. Now, is it time for the beach, Pop asks. You bet, says Prissy. Pop pulls the car around. Hop in. Don't mind if I do, says Prissy. And the two little piggies are off. Piggies get hungry on the way to the beach. Prissy gets hungry on the way to the beach. Let's stop for some snacks and toys, Pop adds. So two little piggies go to the market. Excellent choice, Pop. Thank you, Prissy, says Pop. Now, just a quick stop at the playground before we hit the waves, Prissy says. Swing slides, merry-go-rounds. Prissy loves them all. But Pop is getting impatient. A polite piggy would go to the beach right now. You have a point, silly Pop, says Prissy. And off they go. Vroom, vroom, vroom. I'm going to build a sand castle, says Pop. I'm going to dunk my head, says Prissy. I'm going to look for shark teeth, says Pop. Sandcastles, beach snacks, surfing, sunbathing. Prissy and Pop love them all. So silly. Two little piggies play in the surf. Two little piggies dig in the sand. Two little piggies share their snacks with each other. And two little piggies watch the sun go down. The end. How fun is that? I believe I was just going to look. I believe if you look up Prissy and Pop, they have a YouTube channel too. Just like I do. How cool. We're like, we're like a YouTube cool friends people. <laughs> I hope everyone had a great week and enjoys your weekend fully. We will see you back here on Monday with our doors open. We have done everything possible that we can think of to keep not only you, our patrons, safe, but also our staff. So please follow the guidelines we've set forth. You can see all that down below as well um, in another comment on another post. So check that out. If you have any questions, please call. And as always, I will be here for you if you do not feel comfortable coming into the library. All right, you guys, have a wonderful weekend. Thanks for watching. Be kind.